Hi, I'm the Highway Walker and today we are going to continue to show you examples that you can do using a one gallon Mylar bag for long term food storage. One of the great things about using the smaller bags versus the five gallon Mylar bags, which we've shown you in the past and you can see that on one of the videos, is that of the weight. If you are disabled or elderly and you're trying to manipulate a five gallon bag, that's 35 pounds, they become pretty heavy. Or if you have items like oats, which we're going to be showing, cornmeal, things like that, that can kind of get stale after you open, it would be a lot better to have a smaller bag that you open. Once that oxygen hits that bag, that oxygen absorber no longer works. So by using smaller bags, they're easier for lifting, maintaining, and using. Put into a Mylar bag, which is for long-term storage, certain items, and by putting them in, we will be able to put them on our shelves and not worry about them until a real need does come along. I'm going to also going to do this yellow cornmeal. And what I'm going to do this time, a little bit different, we'll see how it works, is I'm going to put a desk in, in the bottom and I'm going to just leave them in the containers. One thing about when you got little different flowers, it flies everywhere, so it makes it a little more convenient. I believe I can get three of these in here. Let's see if we can. One, two, and three. There we go. And as you can see, I put three in there. And now I'm going to put in an oxygen absorber so that'll give it better storage. Let's drop one of those in there. We are ready. Now I'm going to seal it. This will need help, so she's going to have to put the camera down to help me seal it. Okay. And now I'm going to seal this one. Deb helped me a little bit to get a little corner started so it wouldn't wiggle. One, two, three. And one, two, three. We'll seal it off on top too, I think, with my second tin. There we go. Okay, and you know, we have a tag there. Now we have a tag. Of cornmeal. Cornmeal. It's dated and ready to go. There you go. So now we have cornmeal. So let's continue the same process with the oats, the sugar, and the baby beans, yeah. and rice. Navy beans. There we have a set up. And the oxygen absorber blend for our little rice. Put the date and what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. now you'll store for 25, 25 years. years. Ready to be put on a shelf or however else you feel like you want to store them. But this is an option. Instead of a five gallon bucket, these are one gallon that you can just pull out. For extra protection, this is overkill. I'm going to put them in a bucket for long term storage. This will protect from the bag getting ripped or anything like that. So you can put three of these in a bucket. I got the uh, cheap uh, buckets you get at the Home Depot. And uh, just put it in there. And all three of them all in there, and they're in there. So yeah. you have smaller ones instead of the big five gallon, you can put three one gallon in one of the buckets, right. seal it, and then store it however you want, right, right. honey? Then we put a lid on and I use a nice, with a gasket, and that is long-term storage. It'll protect your Mylar bags, your rice, so moisture won't get in, bugs won't get in. Put that on, tap it on, boom, 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 and there you go. You've got a nice storage unit for long-term, 25 years.